Yo, what's up, everybody? Hey, man, I didn't even notice you right there, man. I hope you got your snacks and everything ready. Go ahead and get comfortable with me. The Wonka movie just came out, so I wanted to go ahead and rewatch this one right here. Yes, I have seen this movie before. I understand there's gonna be some people that's gonna feel a certain type of way that I've already seen this. I'm so sorry. But hey, yo! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is... Mellow! Man, I do not remember this intro being this long. But yo, if you like seeing my full link reaction to this movie, other movies I do, TV shows I do, you can click the link down below in the description to my Patreon, y'all. Let's get it. Back when kids used to be smart. Why are you crying? <laughs> and didn't dress like they about to freaking have their own OnlyFans and going to the club afterwards. It's crazy. A lot of schools don't have a dress code nowadays. Like, that's real messed up. I understand, like, you want people to dress how they want to dress and stuff, but like, come on, man, there's a time and place. It's all about being mature and knowing what to dress for for that certain occasion. How does he do it? Do you ask a fish how it swims? No. Or a bird how it flies? No. They do it because they were born to do it. Just like Willy Wonka was born to be a candy man. He probably never asked because he never cared. But he cares about chocolate though. Man, I wish I could go to a candy man store and he'll sing to me. Pause. I've always loved this song right here, man. Candy man can cause he mixes it with lava makes the world taste good. Man, I don't want any of that candy. He had his hands all up in it. He must really love these kids because I know damn well I wouldn't be doing this. Because are they paying? <laughs> you know damn well they making a mess and who's going to have to clean that up? Me. I've always wondered, what is that? Is that lemonade? Collect up all the cream of the candy man. Oh man, you couldn't do that if I was there, bro. I would have jacked your ass. <laughs> I would have went to that cash register. Cause he mixes it with love. <laughs> like, yeah, the candy man can. What's the code? Thing he never finishes that word. Legend has it, he's still singing that one word. Come on, Charlie, man, you should go up in there. It's not like any of them paying. They robbing his Bro, get you some free candy, bro. Come along, Charlie. You're late. Oh, he got to work. Oh, okay. It's payday, Mr. Joe Peck. You're right. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah! That boy on a mission, bro. He just threw that paper right at that dude's face. I never knew Charlie had swag like this, bro. That fit go hard. That O is out of place, and that K. The W is too. Up the airy mountain. You gotta work on them lights, Wonka. For fear of little men, nobody ever goes in. Nobody ever comes out. Who is this weird old man? I never understood this whole thing. So is he like the butcher or something? Now, one of the things I didn't know about uh, Willy Wonka and stuff from reading the comments from people talking about it is that uh, the book is kind of creepy. If only his father were alive. His father is alive. He just left. Saying you're going to get <laughs> Girl look like a Quaker. I would leave too. <laughs> Grandpa George, Grandma Georgina, uh, George and Georgina, Grandma Josephine, Grandpa Joe. <laughs> That's a wild coincidence that all their names match when it comes to their partners. How about this? Charlie, where'd you get that? From now on, I'm going to pay for your tobacco. I'm giving it up. When a loaf of bread looks like a banquet, I have no right buying tobacco. Man, we have other things to worry about. Why y'all want him to freaking kill his lungs? Not since the tragic day that Willy Wonka locked it. Why do you lock it? So all the other chocolate makers in the world were sending in spies. Y'all are not doing a good job of being considerate of everybody sleeping. Y'all still talking loud as hell. Oh, that Slugworth, he was the worst. And more delicious candies were coming out than ever before. But the gates stayed locked. I wonder how Wonka got the Wonka Oompa Loompas in there without anybody seeing. I understand he most likely used a truck. Nobody saw it. What do you think it makes? I don't know, sir. Well, if you knew and I didn't know, then you'd be teaching me instead of me teaching you. And for a student to teach his teacher, it's presumptuous and rude. Do I make myself clear? I'm sorry, I teach. I ain't paying attention to nothing besides them teeth. I like the small details that you can find in movies. Like he's pretty much like a mad scientist teacher, especially when you can see how the way he's dressed and how he talks, you know, and just his hair. Give me truck loads of chocolate away. Class dismissed. No, no, it's only for five people. Class undismissed. You gotta buy Wonka bars to find them. Class three dismissed. Golly, they freaking worshiping this dude, Willy Wonka. Is this chocolate that damn good? You're goddamn right. 
that's one of the things that i've always wanted to try there's so many different things when you watch movies you're like dang i wish i could try that and it's been willy wonka bars charlie you know damn well she can't see past your big ass head moves wonka bars are beginning to disappear from candy store shelves at a rate to boggle the mind i mean this is smart that boy making racks right now i know he like looking at the freaking bankrolls like hell yeah to believe in one's dreams is a manifestation of insanity. But I dreamed the Archangel appeared and whispered into my ear and told me where to find a Golden Wonka ticket. And what exactly did he say? <laughs> well, what difference does that make? This dude looked like he's crazy. I mean, you said just Shut now- Shut up, offsetter, and tell me where the ticket is. My God, bro, you're supposed to be my therapist. You're trying to rob my ass for the ticket. I like that shot because, you know, the horns is behind him and stuff. Augustus Gloop. Augustus Gloop. Augustus Gloop. Augustus Gloop. That song go hard, bro. Mr. Gloop, would you mind saying- <laughs> That boy said, get this out of my face, bro. Boy trying to eat, man. He don't give a damn. He'll eat anything that gets in his way. Wouldn't do it unless he needed some nourishment, would he? Anyway, it's... So nobody's going to question this weird dude that's just whispering in this little kid's ear right on national TV, huh? Thank you. That's a beautiful dress on his mom. Wouldn't that be fantastic? It's not fair to raise his hopes. Never mind. Go on, open it, Charlie. I mean, the golden tickets are only in the bars, right? Like, who told him that the golden tickets was just in any freaking Wonka product? Golly, old people, man. Do got finessed. I got it! Where? Where? Let's see. Hold you, didn't I? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> that was sadistic. Ain't nobody don't want that loser ass chocolate. <laughs> they didn't have the freaking golden ticket. Better throw that in the trash. I know, Angel. We're doing the best we can. Wow, all that chocolate going to waste. Where is it? Why haven't they found it? Baruka, sweetheart. I'm not a magician. Oh my god, I cannot stand this bitch. <laughs> I remember her. But her performance was on point. I ain't gonna lie. They don't want to find it. They're jealous of me. Sweetheart, I can't push them no harder. You know what's crazy is I actually believe that this would happen. This dude is spoiling this little girl. <laughs> you already know they about to whoop her when she get off. How does he know where the golden tickets are? Of our 43rd day in the hunt for golden. <laughs> yeah, the boy sold out. Damn, I don't remember any of this. We're about to witness the greatest miracle of the machine age. Yo, the audio sync is garbage. Let's watch the lip sync, okay? Ah, uh, thank you. It says, I won't tell. That would be cheating. Damn, you created a super smart robot. That dude got morals and I will gladly share with it. Man, if you don't beat that computer's ass, man, if you don't tell me where the golden ticket is. What would a computer do with a lifetime supply of chocolate? I am now telling the computer exactly what he can do with a lifetime supply of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that boy lost his job. Square deal Sam to you with all of today's great giveaway bargains. I bet say, yeah, he looks like a car salesman. Now, of course, I'm right back on gum, except at mealtimes when I stick it beyond my ear. Pilot. Pull it, mother. That is gross. Girl, you better be washing the back of them ears with bleach. It's beating the record held by my best friend, Miss Cornelia Prince Metal. And was she mad? <laughs> Hi, Cornelia, how are you, sweetie? Let me just better here for a moment to say this. That's how you talk, girl. That's what I'm talking about. This dude can teleport, bro. Or I think this is all rigged. Because how does he know where all the golden tickets are? As soon as they get them. Well, why don't you stay a minute? Heck nah, ma. Smell like freaking piss up in here. Most people are pretty interested. I know I'm interested. Man, he has like a Play-Doh face. You know, like one of those old school Christmas movies they made, like the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and the one about Santa Claus. He looked like he's from one of those movies, man. But he's doing a pretty good job with his facial expression. He really got me believing that he is just not happy with his life whatsoever. One day things will change. When will they change? Probably when you least expect it. Man, his mom is tired, man. Can make your troubles go away. <laughs> It's like almost every song they had in this movie was a straight bop, bro. What happened to that smile I used to know? Dude, that boy getting older, man. He's getting hit with life. The majority of us go through that. We so happy and outgoing when we're kids. And then once we grow up, experience the real world and society, it just, it takes all that out of us. Just be glad you're you. Mama hitting them notes, man. Shoot, you better hurry up and get to work, though. Hey, Mike, do you think we might shut that thing off? No! 
Oh, are you crazy? He won't answer till the station break. <laughs> I love this little kid, bro. Can't you shut up? I'm busy. <laughs> this boy owned this role. Mike, that's what milk Hold is. Hold it, I want to catch this. You like the killings, huh? What do you think life's all about? The boy flicking a wrist. Code 45. Pop won't let me have one. Not till you're 12, son. 12? Yeah. Man, hell no. Nah. The way his personality is, you need to wait till he older. <laughs> this dude really just grabbed that kid and just started talking to him. All these other people are surrounding this kid. Nobody looking around like, what the hell is this dude doing? What is he talking about? About time he got the real freaking bar. Which end shall I open first? That end. Are you really should I can No, Grandpa, you do it. All right. I've always loved the relationship that they had together. I bet those golden tickets make the chocolate taste terrible. Man, nobody ain't trying to eat the chocolate. They just want the freaking golden ticket. You gotta find another way to make yourself feel better. Five thousand pounds, your majesty. You really tell me the queen came there to get a freaking box of chocolate? I'll give them anything, anything they want. All I want is to have Harold back. That girl was trying to go for that Oscar. What did they ask for? Whatever it is, they can have it. All right, girl, you need to chill out. What's your case of Wonka bars? Miss Curtis, did you hear? Me? You really got a ponder on that girl? How long will it give me to think it over? That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't remember certain parts. This is so funny. I love how they're just showing the craze about these damn Wonka bars. Fifth and less golden ticket has just been found right here in Paraguay. What's you got to hope for now? Uh, a job? <laughs> yeah, let him sleep. Let him have one last dream. Damn, man, I really feel bad for this kid. To switch our Friday schedule to Monday. That the test we take each Friday on what we learn during the week will now take place on Monday before we've learned it. But since the day is Tuesday, it doesn't matter in the slightest. What? That confused the hell out of me. We are going to learn about... Chocolate? Percentages. How many Wonka bars did you open? About a hundred. Oh, she looked like it too. Pata pata. <laughs> How many did you open? 150. Oh, he lying. He looked like a bully, bro. Charlie Bucket. How many did you open? One. Two. What do you mean you only opened two? I don't care very much for chocolate. Well, I can't figure out just two. Oh, then you're not a smart ass teacher if you can't figure out just two. I think this might be my Halloween costume next year. I'm gonna dress up like Charlie. <laughs> I'm gonna just dress up like Charlie and just pout around the whole neighborhood. I thought he already paid you. It's crazy how you want money from me, but you didn't want it from all them other damn kids. I'm the main character. What about all them other kids you was giving the whole damn store to? You ain't say that to them. You was giving them freaking sugary pits. I don't even know what the hell that is. Why not try a regular Wonka bar this time? Who is this dude, bro? <laughs> this dude look like a time traveler. Who is that? He don't even look like somebody that dresses in whatever time frame this is. The way they got him standing there, it really got me thinking if that dude is like a, a reference to something or whatever, I don't know. That gambler from Paraguay made up a phony ticket. I've always loved this build up right here, man. <laughs> Yo, that flute note right there go hard. Hey, Karen, let me go. Run for it, Charlie. Run straight home and don't stop till you get there. I love that line, bro. And then this music right here, it just gets you so hyped, man. <laughs> bro, I'm over here vibing. Ask the Slugworth. Now listen carefully because I'm going to make you very rich indeed. The everlasting gobstopper. Bring it to me so that I can find the secret formula. 10,000 of these. That's it? Why he wait until Charlie was all by himself, but all the other kids, he was just right there in the middle of the crowd. That is a real tempting offer though. Ah! Ah! And then Peter breaks his damn knee. Ah! <laughs> You're pulling our legs, Charlie. Man, what does it look like? The last one I fake it sits on the papers. Read it, Joe, for heaven's sake. Yo, I don't remember the acting being this good, man. Says I can take somebody with me. I wish you could go. Take your mama. All the stuff she did for everybody, take her. She needs a break. <sighs> so <laughs> Boy, haven't used them legs in years. Look at me. Look at me. Man, ain't this about a 
Yo ass could stay in this whole time? We over here struggling, trying to get some work, trying to get money to get food, and yo ass can walk? <laughs> but as soon as we get some chocolate and get a damn golden ticket, yo ass instantly like, hey, get me up. <laughs> what the hell? Cause I've, I've got, got a golden, golden ticket. ticket. Now, did they have the actors really singing or they had other people sing for them? Yeah, he was like, man, I don't want to put my feet on this dirty ass floor. It couldn't be done. Oh. It it be done. done. I know damn well after this, your ass better get you a job, bro. Look, this dude over here running now. <laughs> if you don't run your ass to the employment line. You don't even want to freaking wash up? How long have they been sitting in that bed the whole time and haven't really been moving around? Don't you get like bumps and stuff and like bruises and sores if you don't move? But it it can be done. Done. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this dude. I gotta go to the ticket. Hey. The way hoping today it ran into Mr. Slughorn. They really should have showed us that conversation of, between them two talking about Slugworth and him kind of telling Charlie, hey, maybe you should go for that because you see how we're living. Just to build like a little tension for us to feel like, is Charlie actually going to make that choice? I couldn't hear you, sweetie. I've still got it. Now it's this first trick. <laughs> yeah, I love this girl's personality. Talk your s girl. Especially over there, got that cool outfit too. Showing off, telling that girl, you can never be like me. Save some room for later, Augustus Lee. He was almost done, bro. Just let him finish it. Now, I have seen the interview with Gene Wilder. It was just like a little snippet of him talking about he wanted to do this improvisation of Willy Wonka limping when he got out. Crazy how everybody was cheering. As soon as they saw he was limping, they just stopped cheering. Like, what's wrong with him limping? This dude cane bending. How's that even supposed to hold you up? I've always loved that right there. <laughs> hey! Yeah, that boy got dolphin teeth. What the hell? <laughs> this dude, Gene Wilder, is definitely probably one of my favorite actors, man. He has such a unique charisma and voice. How do you like working with uh, the younger generation? Four of them are fantastic. The other one, I'm gonna shoot in the head tomorrow. <laughs> Who opened that door? Now, I wonder if those people sat out there the whole time until these people came back out. We have so much time and so little to see. Wait a minute. Strike that. Reverse it. It's just the way that uh, Timothy said it in the trailer. It just came off corny, but hopefully in the full movie, it fits better. And as soon as your outer vestments are in hand. So this dude really hired people just to be freaking coat hangers and hat holders and stuff. Floods, fire, frost of frippery. Earthquakes, floods, frost, what? I can't see what it says in the bottom. Oh, that boy think he's slick, bro. You can't even read the fine print. I'm sorry, rules of the house. I want to go in. Don't you dare stop me. I'm only trying to... Girl, what you about to do? You about to fight your freaking dad? You're always making things difficult. <laughs> Nicely handled, Baruch. I love her She's delivery on that line. Oh, if you have any problems, dial information. Thank you for calling. Give him the number. <laughs> what about me, Grandpa? Sign away, Charlie. We got nothing to lose. Oh, yeah, yeah I definitely ain't got nothing to lose. Yes, good. On we go. It's crazy. Nobody really wanted to read that. Like they read the first paragraph and was like, oh, what's this about? You said you had read the terms and conditions. 44, 100% pure. Mm, that was interesting. He was saying the wrong numbers in the combination. Oh. Is this a trick or something, Wonka? Hey, Mr. Wonka, hey! <laughs> Let me out from Excuse me, question time will come at the end of the session. We must press on. Come along. I love how this scene is pretty much showing a little bit of like society and stuff. What is this, Wonka? Some kind of fun house? Why, having fun? I just love this dude's sarcasm, man. Hey, the room is getting smaller. No, it's not. He's getting bigger. I wonder if these are the Oompa Loompa's rooms. And almost everything you'll see is eatable. Edible. Now, I wonder if he meant to do that on purpose or if that was like an accident and he just recovered. Rock on and off. All right, show off. Room. Better knock that nose off. I know about that.
girl look like Willem Dafoe. Man, I would love to go here. There's got to be a place like this in real life. But I think it's kind of like a safety hazard. You got to sanitize stuff and everything. In a world of pure imagination, and you'll see into your imagination. <laughs> Nobody can do it like Gene Wilder, bro. Define explanation. <laughs> it's like Simon Says on the stairs or something. Anything you want to do it. Why are you touching the kid like that, bro? There's nothing, nothing to, to it. it. That boy is looking at him like, yeah, he's definitely going to be a great victim. If you truly, truly wish, wish to me. I wonder how long it took them to build this set right here. I wonder what that is, bro. What is that, like jam? Stuff look nasty. Uh, I definitely want that. That look like whipped cream. Or cool whip. You mean cool whip? Cool whip. Cool whip. Cool whip. That's not how you're supposed to say it. You said it weird. <laughs> Wanna change the world. There's nothing cool whip. <laughs> now, knowing Gene Wilder, he really likes to do stuff like this. I wonder if he kind of helped write some of the musical performances. Wish to be. What a disgusting, dirty river. It's industrial waste, that. I don't even know why y'all would assume that's waste. We're in an area where you can eat damn near everything. Why would he have a river full of waste that could probably contaminate a lot of the stuff? That's stupid. They're little men. Jumping crocodile sharks. Dummy, right? Now, when y'all first saw these Oompa Loompas, man, I know for some of the people who were like kids, did y'all really think that they were like a different species or something? Or y'all really knew that these were just little people in costume? Away from all the wang doodles. It's not as wangers. It's not as wangers. It's like this dude saying <laughs> random words. I'm sorry, but all questions must be submitted in writing. And so, in the greatest... <laughs> I just love that line right there, man. He ain't trying to deal with none of their BS. I'll get you one before the day is out. I want an Oompa Loompa now! Can it, you nit? Yes, mm, shut up! <laughs> she looked at her like she was about to do something. Girl, you all talk. Please, don't do that! Don't do that! Why are they in the way? Like, move! Please, I thank you, Augustus! <laughs> beautiful chocolate yeah he definitely ruined that chocolate bro this dude does not put on deodorant so i know that river is done do something help police murder <laughs> he has like mastered sarcasm watch the pipe <laughs> the boy enjoying the show now the suspense is terrible he, he's gonna go this time i hope it'll last <laughs> Oh my god. It's like he had the right amount of creepiness in this movie right here. And a lot of people were just oblivious of it. I've got a perfect puzzle for you. Oompa loompa doopa dee dee. If you are wise, you'll listen to me. <laughs> Whose idea was it to do it like this, man? So it's kind of like you can sing along or whatever. I don't like the look of it. <laughs> I don't like the look of his fat <laughs> Commercial! My newest invention, Wonkazoids! You can load, and eat, and play! Four different candy game adventures. Now your candy's got game! Wonkazoid! Mesdames and messieurs, maintenant nous allons faire un petit voyage par bateau. What's he talking about? Voulez-vous Wonkatania? This dude is insane, bro. I think I, I believe a few of the theories of like what this dude is doing when it comes to these people. Like, cause he's a straight asshole. <laughs> I take good care of my guests. Yeah, you took real good care of that Argus kid over. Hey, that was his fault. Can't be greedy. A beautiful paddle boat, that's what I want. What she wants is a good kick in the pants. She wants every damn thing. Girl, get out of your damn nose. Spitting's a dirty habit. I know a worse one. <laughs> and I know damn well she rubbed that booger on the back of the seat. What business, you insult? Nuts. Dude, I wonder why he stopped talking to him. I've seen some comments about this scene where this was a real messed up scene. I think they showed like a chicken getting his head cut off or something like that. You can't possibly see where you're going, Wonka. You're right. I can't. That was a great shot right there. This is strange. Yeah, strange, Charlie, but it's fun. Yeah, he's just happy to get out that damn bed. There you go. What the hell? What's the point of this? <laughs> Is this like a tunnel showing their their darkest fears or something? In which direction we are going? going. There's no. 
I know this dude had one hell of a time making this movie. What is your favorite Gene Wilder movie? The rowers keep on rowing, and they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing. Why? I wonder if the boat was actually even moving, bro. What a nightmare. Daddy, I do not want a boat like this. <laughs> Coffee cream. Vanilla cream. Hair cream. I mean, yeah, this, he lives here. Now, another thing that I have heard about, and I've seen some videos, been getting some comments of people want me to check this one movie out. This movie called Snowpiercer. And I've seen a video where some people are saying Snowpiercer could be considered a sequel to Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And it's pretty interesting, the stuff that they were talking about. Einstein Raum, meine Fabrik. I can't tell you much more of this. I think I actually believe that this dude, Gene Wilder, can speak multiple languages fluently. Damn, for this to be your inventing room, bro, this is sure damn messy, bro. You need to clean this. You got a garbage strike going on here, Wonka? Who does your cleaning up? Shouldn't you be wearing rubber gloves? Well, I'm glad everybody else is saying something about this. Any good? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely bonkers. That's not bad. And y'all really touching stuff after you just said, do not touch nothing. Baby kids, bro. Bring. Still too weak, needs more jellic, man. That's too weak? This stuff blew that boy back. So you telling me we're eating garbage? Gives it a little kick. Ha <laughs> ha! Literally, okay. What's a scotch? What's a gin? Candy is dandy, but liquor is quicker. <laughs> too hot, Mr. Wonka? Too cold. Far too cold. So you put a jacket in? <laughs> this dude's invention room is just literal metaphors and stuff. Would you like to see? Yeah. What the hell is going on with this machine? It's everlasting gobstoppers. Did you say everlasting gobstoppers? I like how he mouthed her saying everlasting gobstopper. How do you make them? I'm a trifle deaf in this ear. Speak a little louder next time. Who wants an everlasting <laughs> gobstopper? Me. And never show them to another living soul. Agreed? Why would she want to do business with Slughorn? Her dad already has hella money. Hey, she's got two. I want another one. Stop squawking, you twit. Everybody has had one. Yeah, she tried it. She tried it. Poor we ain't stupid. Girl, why are you just putting your hands in the stuff? Oh my God. Ew. What the hell is that, bro? It just looked like throw up. Finito. That's all. All that for that? My gum, it's gum. Wrong. Is a three course dinner. Bull. No, roast beef. <laughs> Violet, now don't you do anything stupid. Man, take it out her hand. Stop, don't. Why doesn't she listen to Mr. Wonka? Because Charlie, she's a nitwit. He's not even trying either. I told you one time, and you don't want to listen. Blueberry pie and cream. It's the most marvelous blueberry pie blueberry I've ever face. tasted. So I wonder if they did that with like color grading or like with a light pointed down at her. And she's still chewing, like spit it out. I'll break you for this. Oh, well, I'll get it right in the end. <laughs> I love how he's not even paying no attention to this dude, bruh. That's me right there. Listen to me. Revolting and wrong, chewing all day long. The way that a cow does. Loompa, doopity, yeah. Man, I, just, I wish little people got more roles and stuff, man. Two naughty, nasty little children gone. Three good, sweet little children left. I did not like how he said that right there. And nobody's questioning that. Lickable wallpaper. That's gross, though. Because, like, what if anybody else... Yo, look at Grandpa. Because that boy going to work, yo. <laughs> But no, that is gross, cause like, that's unsanitary. What if two people lick the same spot? The snozberries taste like snozberries. Who ever heard of a snozberry? We are the music makers. And we are the dreamers of dreams. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Busy lifting drinks. Still too powerful. Come along now, don't hang about. Let's take a drink, Charlie. Nobody's watching. Yeah. Bro, you are a dumb bro and a bad influence like you act like he's not gonna turn around and be like where where are they at you acting like we're in a big group tour bro it ain't that many people Charlie, but, ah, oh oh we're in big trouble mr walk is gonna like this man you're screaming loud as hell hey it's fun grandma it works even though they're on a wire i know this would be so fun what's this grandpa oh uh, you can see the wire right there now let's just fly south for the winter why not 
Oh, wow. I wonder how they did that. Ooh, like a, a green screen effect or something? Hey, Grandpa, I can't get down! There's nothing to grab onto! Help! Uh, uh, this is what y'all get for being freaking hard-headed. Mr. Wonka, please turn off the fan! Uh, and then, uh, damn well, he heard all this. He just does not care. We've got a verb trying to It's the only way. Verb again. <laughs> Yeah, at least. So y'all just know how to burp on command? I know I don't. I'm jealous of people who know how to burp on command and burp they ABCs. The fastest anyone else has ever done it before. I haven't met the Oompa Loompa yet who could do it. These are the geese that lay the golden eggs. And did you get them from the same country? For Easter. But Easter's over! I'm trying to get ahead for next year. <laughs> they can understand English. The egg decator can tell the difference between a good egg and a bad egg. How can there be a bad chocolate egg? Little nonsense, nonsense, relished by the wisest. Damn, I wish I could fully understand that. I only heard the beginning and the end. She can't have one. Who says I can't? The man with a funny hat. I want one. I want to call goose. Gooses. Geeses. Anything you say. Way. I want a bean feast. <laughs> a bean feast? Oh, she's trying to poop. Donuts and fruitcake with no nuts. So good you could go nuts. You're gonna have all those things when you get home. This girl wants everything now. Shut up. I'm performing baboons and give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> he got that face like, man, bitch, you better get out of my face. <laughs> One today. I, I want, want tomorrow. tomorrow. I know that dude's selling them eggs for a lot of money, bro. How big they are and their goal too. Wow, you just committing vandalism to his shop, bro. Okay. Presents and prizes and sweets and surprises of all shapes and sizes and love. This girl feeling herself. You better chill out. I want it now. <laughs> Karma the bitch, ain't it? Where all the other bad eggs go? Down the garbage chute. I wonder how that landing impact is gonna be. I wonder if she's gonna break an ankle or something. <laughs> She'd be sitting like a sausage. Well, not necessarily. She could be stuck. I like how he touched Willy Wonka's bow and Willy Wonka touched his tie afterwards, man. There's gonna be a lot of garbage today. This dude, Willy, got a lot of metaphors after everybody goes. Loompa. Loompa. Doopity doo. When your kid is up. Brat. Bark like a Siamese. Cat blaming the kids is a lie and a shame. Quit having fun! You know exactly who's to blame. The mother, mother and, and the, the father. father. Especially like what's going on in this generation, bro. These kids are fing ass. And they freaking idiots, bro. Commercial! Come quickly, the Wonka Vader waits for no one. Pixie sticks. Just one of the feastables we make in our factory. Everlasting gobstoppers. They're made from layers, layers of flavors. The wild world of Wonka. What do we think of next? Can't we sit down for a minute? The pace is my filling. dear. Shoot, that's why you shouldn't have them heels on, girl. Yeah, what's that they're filling it up with? All the crazy carbonated stuff that tickles your nose. Few people realize what tremendous power. Yeah, he know about that coat. It's interesting how this dude has transportation machines for the right amount of guests that he has. I always wonder what that was, why it was spraying like that or whatever. But yeah, he had all that pop and stuff. So that makes sense now why it was foaming up and stuff. <laughs> Is that Japanese? No, that's Wonka Wash spelled backwards. <laughs> what? I wonder if this dude got nominated for this performance or like what other movies came out around this year where the people got nominated? Now, I suppose you all know how ordinary television works. Then the photographs are split up into millions of tiny pieces and they go whizzing through the air down to your TV set where they're all put together again in the right order. Hey, swallow first before you speak. A little wider when you speak. Exactly, bro. <laughs> I like how he has his hat on, bro. Lights. Action. That's some good editing right there. It's real. Taste it. It's delicious. It's just so you're going to have Willy Wonka commercials and people can reach through the TV and get your chocolate bar? Not just chocolate, I mean. Anything you like. What about people? I'm pretty sure I could. But it might have some messy results. Yeah, this boy invented a teleportation device. Stop. Don't come back. <laughs> 
Boy, so damn hard headed, man. Why is he taking so long? A million pieces take a long time to put together. Especially when you hard headed. I'm the first person in the world to be sent by television. I'm famous. I'm a TV star. Man, nobody ain't watching this damn channel. Where are you taking me? I don't want to go in there. Man, it's like what the things they were able to do with filmmaking is amazing, bro. And my special taffy pulling machine. Why are you shaking him, bro? <laughs> What's he saying? No, no, I won't hold you responsible. <laughs> what? <laughs> so this is what y'all get for not parenting y'all kids properly. It was pretty much like a, a weird version of Scared Straight. What do you get from a glut of TV? A pain in the neck and an IQ of three. Oh. Reading a book. Oh. Or could you just not bear? To look. Oh, they speaking the facts already, bro. They're still relevant to this day, even more so. Commercial. Under a waterfall, dreams do New come. Wonka exceptionals. This is how Wonka does chocolate. When they leave here, they'll be completely restored to their normal, terrible old selves. But maybe they'll be a little bit wiser for the wear. The whole point was, besides finding somebody to take over the factory, was also to show these people them true selves, man. Half a clock, half a sink, half of everything. That's a unique room. Why he doesn't have half a light bulb? Uh, the lifetime supply of chocolate. Well, when does he get it? He doesn't. He broke the rules. What rules? I never realized he was smoking. I, the undersigned, shall forfeit all rights, privileges, and licenses, hearing and hearing contained, etc., etc. Facts, memo, bis, punitor, delicatum. Damn, why are you so mad? You lose. Good day, sir. Damn, why are you so mad? That's crazy. That boy got passionate over that. You're an inhuman monster. I said good day. This scene is uh, weird, bro. They just turned the hell up. I could eat with him if it's the last thing I ever do. Slugworth wants a gobstopper and he'll get one. This dude's grandpa is a terrible influence, bro. So shines a good deed in a weary world. Please forgive me. Come in, Mr. Wilkinson. Charlie, meet Mr. Wilkinson. This was an interesting test right here, to say the least. So much time and so little to do. Strike that. Reverse it. This way, please. <laughs> I love how that line just became iconic. But the Wonkivator can go sideways and slantways and long ways and back ways. Man, this is a freaking ship. That's what it is. And up until now, I've pressed them all. Except one. Go ahead, Charlie. Me? There's no life I know to compare with your imagination. Exactly sure what's going to happen. I mean, you're the one who built this. You mean we're going up and out? Or will we cut to ribbons? Probably. <laughs> that boy wanna die. Where did this take place at? Look over here, Charlie. I think I see our house. Man, I don't see that damn broke down ass house. I don't see none of what y'all talking about. Because I'm giving it to you. Who can I trust? And take care of the Umpa Lumpus moment. Growing up would want to do everything his own way, not mine. But I had to find a very honest, loving child. I mean, that wasn't the only reason, now. And me? Absolutely. God damn it, Grandpa. <laughs> he just wanted to be included. This is about me. Don't forget what happened to the man who suddenly got everything he always wanted. What happened? He lived happily ever after. I mean, it depends. You know, some people say that, you know, money isn't everything and being in a certain state in your life when it comes to like success, or whatever, still you won't be fully happy. I remember watching the movie. They had the credits going when they were showing the town, not the sky. But yo, there we go, everybody. We checked out the old school Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I can't wait to check out Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That was going to be an interesting video. And I want to hear y'all thoughts before we check that out. You know, comment down below exactly what is it that you didn't like about that movie in particular. So, I, you know, we can pinpoint on that and hit it. But I hope that you enjoyed watching this movie with me. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video, share, comment down below, subscribe, click the bell so you know when I upload videos and follow me on all my 
my social media links will be in the description below all right everybody and there we go with willy wonka and the chocolate factory can't wait to hear your thoughts oh but besides gene wilder i would like to know exactly who is your favorite character in this movie which one do you like more this one or charlie and the chocolate factory i would actually go ahead and give this movie an a minus it was so much better than i thought uh, i haven't seen this movie in such a long time the performances were on point i love the musical performances when it comes to the set design it was great costume design was good i, I love what they were doing with the world building at the beginning of this movie i completely forgot about all that type of stuff and it was just so interesting to see exactly how people viewed willy wonka and just like admired and worshipped this dude and loved his chocolate i know there's like so many other theories and themes that they had in this movie i would like to see exactly how the willy wonka character is in the books as well so i can like do a compare and contrast and i think i even heard something where the writer of willy wonka did not like this movie I, I might be wrong go ahead and correct me in the comments if i am if you like see my full reaction to this movie other movies i do tv shows i do you can click the link down below in the description to my patreon gene wilder he did a fantastic job this is like his most iconic role and with all that being said i'll see you on the next one all right peace